Welcome to the Everyday Mom Challenge. Today I would like to walk you through how to build a Google Classroom for your homeschool. Last year I used um, the Google Docs for so many things for me and the boys. Um, this year I'm incorporating Google Classroom and I want to show you where to find it. I use Google Classroom all the time in the public school and I feel like for all of the um, assignments that I'm giving them for next year with our new goals from our testing, this is going to be more beneficial because I'm going to be able to keep up with everything here um, instead of having two separate docs going on at the same time. I'm going to show you how to build and then I'll do a review of how it works for me with the boys um, probably in January. But I know it's highly successful in the school setting. So I'm going to come here. If you don't know um, how to find Google Classroom, because when you just come here to your products, you're not going to see Classroom. So hit more, and then you're going to go to Classroom. I'm going to start over so I can show you. And you want to hit the plus, and you want to create a class. Okay. And this is going to be our sample class, and it's going to be 2018-2019 school year, and hit create. I love making the digital agendas and linking everything, but if it's something that I want both of them to do, I think this is the best way. So I'm all about selecting themes. And you can check and see like what you can choose from. If it was just Solomon, I would choose that. If it was just Sam, I would choose the piano. But because it's both of the boys, um, Oh, I, if it was me, I would choose the books. Because it's the both of them, I'm going to choose the flag. Okay, so welcome to your class stream. Everything is posted here. And I will tell you, it is so easy because um, it gives you these step by step. So if you come over here and click, you see how you can do an announcement. And I'm just going to say, welcome. Love you guys. And then when you post it, there it goes. It's going to go to them. But when you do the assign, oh, I like these two, like create a question. Um, so you can say, what would you like to read first? And then you can, you see where you pull down here? You can pick, I want them to answer that by the 24th. I mean, I already know the answer. You see how you can give them multiple choices? So you could say, um, would you want them to do a research article? Would you want them to do just a fun informational text on animals? Blah, 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 blah. And then you can just keep going. Students can see what each other's, what they're clicking. And then they can kind of vote. Um, I always use the create assignments. So let's say I do need four minutes a day. And then watch these videos. What are the reasons why? So if you want to click here, so this is the video that I show. So you just copy the video come back into the sample class. Let's see. Paste it here and you search for it. Reading can change your brain. Click on it and hit add. I also um, like, what did I mean to hit that one? Sorry. Um, I also like this video that's down here. How fiction makes our brains better. Um, I've already watched these videos. So then you hit share, copy. And I want to come back in, go back to YouTube, and paste it. So these would be the two videos. And I want them to watch these. On the first day of school. And if you want to create topics, I mean, you can. I don't have to 
convince my kids of this, they already know. But I can also attach like, so if you want to come over here and get a digital reading log, if you want to create your own reading log on um, Google Sheets, you can then um, come in and attach it from Google Drive, which is really cool to do. So like if you have things on your Google, I mean, my drive is crazy. So um, let's say I want to add an image from Google. It's one of my most recent, because this is our motto for school. Um, this is kind of our, um, this is our homeschool mission statement. So I, I can add that to my assignment and then I can hit assign. So let's say I want to put um, Sam's agenda. I'm going to use Sam's old agenda on here. So let's put an assignment and I'm going to come here. And my most recent, let's see, I'm going to just put Sam's old agenda. Be careful here um, if you want him to manipulate the file because um, right now he can just view it. But let's say I want, I want us to do a shared document where we're editing work that um, he's typing his story and I want to get back on there. Um, make sure that you change it to editing file if that's what you need. Um, so this is where I have to put Sam's agenda. Um, you know it changes each day. So you can't say you didn't get your agenda because you got it. <laughs> And if you want to come here, you might just want to let Sam see that one. You can switch it when you invite your kids. Well, how do you invite your students? It's so easy. There's a code that you can give your kids or you can invite them by typing in your email. So let's just um, let's just invite me to the simple class. Let's see. Invite. Oh, this must I won't let me invite my work in. So, um, right. And so I have been invited. And then I'm going to get this pop up. You heard it. And now I'm invited. And I'm going to go in and accept it. And then it's going to pop me up. I'm going to join the class. And you can get the app on your phone. So I would highly suggest you do that. It's very easy to do, especially if you're finding things um, on your phone. You can just add it. Oh, there it was. I was invited. And I can now see. See, now I'm there. I can email the student. I can say thanks for joining <laughs> and when I come to the stream now if I want to come and create an assignment and let's say you know I want to attach a file and I'm going to upload it now it gives me the option that I can just send that one to me so our mission, learn our verse. And I want that due date by first. And really, there's nothing you can do with an image, so they can just view it. You can make a copy for each of the students and you can assign it. Or you can just choose me. We change the um, access up there and it's assigning. And you can see how your topics will come here. What I love about it is that it shows if they've done the assignment or not. The, um, especially if you give one where um, you need to have a grade, it keeps it in a grade book for you. Um, it keeps them up on due dates. I think that that's really important if you're giving um, essay writing and long-term plans for students. So using Google Classroom could be a valuable tool for your students, and it could be a great organizational tip for you.